Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to see how to grow the plumeria from cuttings the most easiest way. It's one of the most popular fragrant and permanent flowering plants. In this video you would see all the updates with results. So let's get started. Here I have already collected a thick stem. On first step, I am going to make few pieces of the same stem so that I can grow more plants at my home. Here I am making 6 to 8 inches long cuttings as my stem is short. But ideally longer cuttings, let's say 10 to 18 inches is much preferred. You can also see that I am cutting in 90 degree angle. Please do the same thing. The white latex is toxic and please be very careful while preparing the cuttings. My stem also doesn't have any leaves in the middle of the stem as you can see. In case there are leaves on your stem, please remove them and we can keep few leaves at the very top. Next, we need to let the cutting edge dry and callous. During this time, we need to keep them in indirect sunlight and please protect your cuttings from water at any cost. Two very important notes. At the time of planting the cuttings, you may get doubt like which way is the up and which way is the down. For example, on this stem, it's really confusing as the radius of the stem on both top and bottom part is same. In such case, you can make a mark on the bottom part, something like this. This way you are not going to get any doubt at the time of planting the cuttings. On second, what's the best time to grow from cuttings? The answer is spring and summer. Alright, let's take a look at the updates now. Here you can see that the edges of cuttings are dry and at this time they are ready to be planted. Now please follow the steps. Step number 1. For the pot, I am going to use a 6 inch pot. Please avoid using bigger pot as they retain moisture for much longer time. Step number 2. For the soil mix, I am using only cocoa peat. We can also use sand, but I don't get good result while using the sand for plumeria. Step number 3. We can plant the cuttings directly and please insert at least 1.5 to 2 inches inside the soil media. I am not using any rooting hormone powder. If you have, feel free to use it or you can also use aloe vera gel. Step number 4. Secure the cuttings by pressing the soil very gently. Step number 5. Water thoroughly but my cocoa peat is already wet as you can see. So I am not going to water it. If it's dried, please water well. Step number 6. Keep the cuttings only in indirect sunlight and avoid watering too much. Or else cuttings are going to rot very quickly. You would see when I am going to water for the second, third time and so on. Humidity in my place is also quite high. If it's low in your place, please cover the cuttings with a plastic bag. I haven't watered the cuttings till today but here you can see that cocoa peat is looking wet. Well, it's because it was raining yesterday. One stem is already damaged as you can see. That's why please be very careful not to water too much at the early stage. I am also going to pull out the damaged stem or else fungus might attack the other stems. Leaves are slowly getting bigger. Today is the second time I am watering my cuttings. First one is already done by the rainfall. Right here I am watering my cuttings for the third time. On this footage we can see that new leaves are also growing. From today onwards, I would provide them at least 4 to 5 hours of direct sunlight. For watering too, I would water as soon as topsoil looks dry. One very important note here. See, just after planting the cuttings, you may see new leaves on your cuttings within next 4 to 5 days. 
it happens due to the white latex so don't keep your cutting under direct sunlight if you see the new leaves within just four to five days rooting takes time and this is the result after 30 days i am going to keep the cuttings under direct sunlight only after getting this days all right let's take a look at the final result finally both the cuttings are looking quite fine let's take a look what's happening inside Right here we can see the beautiful roots. Without doing too many complex things, I got two new plants very easily. Next, I am going to plant them in two different pots. Other than the plumeria plant, bougainvillea is also very easy to grow from cuttings. You can check out my next video and find the most easiest way to grow the bougainvillea from cuttings. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Good luck in growing the plumida from cuttings. Thank you very much. Take care and enjoy.